Mitochondria are found in all eukaryotic cells and they're the site of aerobic respiration. This is the process by which large amounts of ATP are generated. As a result, they have a structure that is highly adapted to perform this function of respiration. The first adaptation can be seen in that the mitochondria have a double membrane. This is composed of an outer membrane and an inner membrane in between which we can see a very small volume of the intermembrane space. That's the space between the outer and the inner membrane. Specifically, the outer membrane has proteins that are involved in transporting pyruvate from the cytoplasm into the mitochondrion. Pyruvate is an intermediary chemical in the process of respiration that you'll learn about when you study this process in detail. The inner membrane contains the electron transport chain and ATP synthase, and these are also specifically parts of the process of respiration. At this point, the most important thing to remember is that we have a very small volume in the intermembrane space, and this means that we can have a high concentration build up there of, for example, hydrogen ions, and these are involved in the process of respiration. Further adaptations of the mitochondria are that they have cristae. Cristae are where the inner membrane is arranged into folds, and this notably increases the surface area to volume ratio within the mitochondria. Finally, inside the mitochondrion, we find the mitochondrial matrix. This is an area that contains enzymes and substrates that are used in the chemical reactions of respiration, specifically the Krebs cycle.